Today is an exciting day in the garden because we're doing our first real harvest. So come along and I'll show you what we've got going on out here. Long time no see, so I have a garden update for you. Actually the first one of the year this year. Usually I start my garden videos a little bit earlier, but I've had a couple setbacks in the garden. Um, also just been busy with life. There's been a lot of factors, uh, but the garden is actually doing stuff and there's actually stuff to pick. So I thought this would be the perfect time to show you what's going on in the garden and do our first harvest. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, as far as what's been happening, I will say the garden isn't up to my normal standards. Um, I have been really busy so I haven't been able to put as much time into it and we've also had a little bit of a groundhog issue uh, we've never had this problem before we have the fence buried under the ground but I think because the fence is just older we've had a couple like holes spring up and the groundhogs have taken advantage so some of our plants have been demolished cucumbers those are gone the squash plants they're, they're gone even the beans are having trouble I'll, I'll show you kind of what's been happening but with that said there is still a lot to celebrate because we have some tomatoes that are doing well and some peppers so let's start Start walking around the garden and see what we've got going on. So as far as an overview, this is kind of a broad look. As you'll see, we kind of have stuff all throughout, but the beds aren't as full as they normally are if you look at some of my garden videos from past years, but we still have a lot of tomatoes and a lot of peppers. I think I have about 100 plants out here, 100 plus. So while it's not up to my normal standards, it's also still a lot happening. Uh, let's talk about some of the problems first. So like I've got some beans planted here. They are really trying to grow some pole beans, but the groundhogs when they came in, came in like snipped everyone off at the top. So they're starting to put out new growth. They're trying to come back, but they've really been having to fight the battle. A couple have started to make it up like this one, but um, I'm hoping that, I think we've got all the holes closed, so hopefully these will start to grow. And even though they're a little behind, we'll eventually get something out of them is what I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Groundhogs also apparently really like squash. So these plants were looking pretty good. I've got two of these out in the garden, but all of their leaves have been crushed. The plant isn't totally dead yet, but I mean, it's really hanging on its last leg. And it's a little disappointing because I've never had good luck with squash, but usually it's because of the squash bugs. And this year I haven't been seeing as many. And so I thought we were gonna get something and then the groundhog kind of fo foiled my plans. And similar situation here with the cucumbers. You can see there's a few leaves and uh, flowers trying to hang on, but these were, you know, starting to do something. And then they also got wrecked by the groundhog. I've also had some trouble with some of my tomatoes for the same reason. We had some out here when we were still transplanting things out. That's when the groundhogs first attacked. That was the first, um, the first attack of this whole saga. Uh, they came in and some of the ones that I had ready to put out, they just mowed them down in their containers. So they already were kind of at a disadvantage when I put them in the ground. Some of them have been able to spring back. Others were looking kind of sad. So we probably won't have as many tomatoes as we could have had. Um, and like I said, this has been going on because as we patch a hole, then they would find a new one. And it's just been a whole thing and not an issue we've ever had because the fence has protected us, you know, up until this point year after year. So, um, it's it's a frustrating experience <laughs> to have your plants out here and then have something come out here and just not just nibble I'm fine with them taking a little for themselves that's fine but just to like crush the plant and then it's like well now you don't have anything and I don't have anything um, so but I'm trying I'm trying to look at the bright side and also not be too worried about it I mean I'm not like heartbroken but it's just a little frustrating when you do all that work and then things you know get ruined by some other means. Here we have some of the sun gold tomatoes. These are doing great. And I was worried about these because this bed is kind of clay-like. It's very clay-like actually. It was hard to even plant these, but I put a lot of compost in. They seem to be liking it. We're getting some ripe ones. Um, so we'll be picking some of these today. And these are the first to ripen uh, out of all the tomatoes I plant. I planted them for the first time last year and they were great. And we're planting them again this year. And you can see they just have so many flowers and so many little little trellises of tomatoes. So um, while we have these first few ones coming on, there's a lot more to come as well. You can see in this bed, we've got lots of peppers going on. Um, so these are very lush and they're looking really good. Even more peppers back here, more tomatoes. These aren't doing quite as well. Some of them are doing okay, but some of these got attacked by the groundhog, but they're still hanging on. And then this is a new variety I'm really excited about. This is the fish pepper. First time growing these. I've looked at it for many years, but it has these cool variegated leaves and the peppers also have this kind of like multicolor thing going on. Oh, and you can see we've got the first one 
coming on right there. So there's a lot of good stuff happening out here and of course over the season I'll be showing you more and more and more things will be ripening and there will be more to go through. I'm not going to go through every single plant in the garden right now because I don't know that would be the most interesting but you've got kind of an idea. It's mostly peppers and tomatoes this year just because I've been busy. Even some things I started I didn't get out. We don't really have any melons going. The eggplants I wanted to grow we're not really doing that but it's okay. I'm just I'm just trying to roll with it. So now that we've done this little overview, let's go ahead and pick some stuff. So starting with peppers, these jalapeno plants are loaded down. These are the Traveler Strain jalapeno. I got these from Seed Savers Exchange. But look, there's a lot. And there's some little ones too. We've also got some Buena Mulata peppers here. I love these. They are great because, I mean, look at that beautiful purple color. A big thing that I pay attention to when I select things to plant is like cool colors, cool varieties that have interesting things going on. And I mean, you really can't, you don't see this kind of color, this kind of purple, and there's one more back here, in nature very often. So these are one of my favorites just because they always surprise me with how bright they are. And then let's get some of these sun gold. So like I said, these are always the first to ripen. They're super sweet, super yummy. These are a hybrid variety. They're actually the only hybrid I grow in my garden. I do mostly open pollinated stuff, but these are so delicious. I just, I have to grow them. So we got a couple here. That one is really, really bright. Look at that, it'll focus. Ooh, so pretty. And here's the final haul. So we've got lots of peppers, lots of jalapenos, lots of the buena mulatas, a few tomatoes, and these really are the first ones. I mean, there's been maybe one or two that Jason and I have snuck off the plants um, when we've been out here, but that's really it. But you know, it's not a giant haul, but it's the beginning of more to come. And these first hauls I think are always really exciting because we're getting just the first taste of what we're gonna be getting throughout the whole gardening season. And you know, as the season goes on, we'll have more garden things happening, more harvest, so stay tuned for that because there will be more garden videos coming and we'll be able to see more of these things um, ripen and harvest, all that kind of stuff. I'm really excited to see how those fish peppers do because I think they're gonna be really, really awesome. So stay tuned for that. And let me know in the comments what kind of stuff's going on in your garden right now, how your plant's doing, have you had any issues like what I've been having? I'd love to hear anything about what's happening in your garden. And if you happen to be new here and you want more healthy eating tips and nutrition info and videos like this one, then make sure that you subscribe because eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle really doesn't have to be complicated and I'm going to show you how to do it. And if you want to watch some more videos, I have a couple linked for you right over here. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you next time.